What is going on guys? Welcome back for more UFC Undisputed 3. Let's get on with the first fight. Hopefully he's not a fail, man. First professional I mean, fight. For me, my, my first fight of my career, uh, a brand new sport, nothing like wrestling. If I could describe it, it was like jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. You know, it was just adrenaline that I've never felt before. Uh, fear, excitement, anxiety. I mean, every emotion you can possibly imagine just, just getting thrown at you all at once. With all the adrenaline in my, in my body, I wasn't expected to get beat. After the fight was over, I was, I was on top of the world. So it was, that's when I knew I was addicted at that point in time. So it's probably one of the most memorable experiences of my fight career was my first fight. Sean the Muscle Shirk. Speaking of this guy, I never knew he actually retired. I just only found out like a, a month ago, man. I actually had to Wikipedia that. But it's kind of strange that he didn't fight after about a year or two. This is the event he... card screen. Here you can view the other fights that are scheduled to the event you're on. You can watch the other fights on the card by selecting event start or even simulate your fight by selecting the simulate option. If you want to skip right ahead and compete in your fight, select the my fight option. Go ahead and do that now, and good luck in your fight. Alright, basically what I want to say was, um, he had a lot of injuries. That's the reason why he hasn't fought in a while. That guy who's just speaking in the movie clip. For anyone who wants to know. So he's retired now, he's done. Too many injuries. If you had that many injuries within one or two years, I can see why you would retire, man. Alright, let's hope this goes well, man. Remember when I first played the career mode in UFC 1, like, it was one of the worst experiences I've had. Couldn't win a damn fight because my stats were so low. World Fighting Alliance. That promotion didn't last too long. Got bought out by UFC, that's the reason why they're allowed to do it. All right, I'm 22, 6, 5, 185. Are you ready? Here we Are go. Dan Mergliata, the referee. There's no, where is the, I don't need to know that. Come on. I know, I know. Nice fight. I you can turn that off. No, you can turn that off. You can definitely turn the tips off somehow. Uh, yeah, turn that crap off, man. All right, here we go. Oh, I knocked him down already. No, I, I, I thought I'd turn it off. Oh, I have to press a set. My bad, guys. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at like this, bitch. Damn, man. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm going to hold on. You ain't going to... Uh. Holding on, I'm holding on. Holding on. All right. I try to clinch him. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, got him. Let's go for that ground and pound. I'm in a. Oh! Here we go. I'm in his guard. Double up, double up, double up. Let's try to get the full mount. Oh, shit! Damn, man. He's tough. Might be eight and one, but he's gonna be eight and two soon. Damn, stuff that takedown. I must be winning this fight, though, guys. Right? Gotta be winning this fight. I've landed more. Tough, mate. I'm tough. Mess with me. Damn. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, ref. Stop it. Oh. Mm. 
Nope. Not yet. Break that damn ribs. Oh no. Oh, knocked him out. Well, that was a late reaction from the ref. He's done, man. No commentators, no Joe Rogan, no Mike Goldberg. Let's see that knockout again, man. Yep, it was a right hook. Bam, left one and then a right one. Wow, that connected perfectly. Damn, he's bleeding, man. Look at his chest. Dripping everywhere. Are you crazy? The winner. Thank you, son. Wow, there's like five seconds left on the damn clock before the second round. Thank God I knocked him out. He would have recovered. Who's a tough guy now, huh? Alright, look, look at his head, 97%. Usually when I'm playing online, I go for the legs. I chop down the legs a lot. What's this? No, thank you. I don't want to create no highlights. It wasn't a great match. Right, it's going to be the same stuff over and over. We're going to train, fight, train, fight. That's all, that's all it is. I'm pretty sure that's all it is from here on out. After a fight, you'll see the post-fight breakdown screen. Here you'll see how much cred you've earned for the fight and how each victory or defeat affected your rankings in the division. With each win comes more popularity. And the more popular your fighter, the more sponsors you'll attract. Wearing sponsors allows you to gain additional cred from your fights and will help fund your fighter's development. So keep performing well, my friend, and the sky's the limit. Ah, I remember that. You can put on like, um, like the camps and the sponsors on your shorts and that to get more cred. I've got a lot of cred, look, 4,800. First professional win. It's hard to put into words the winning experience on a professional level, especially in the UFC. I mean, it, it's so important, these fights, and, and you put so much dedication and time and sacrifice into each fight. You're so worried that things aren't gonna go your way and that something's gonna happen that's gonna prevent you from winning. A lot of the times when the ref's pulling me off or I realize the fight's over, the first thing I think is like, no way, it's really over? Like, I, I can't believe that it's over and that I won. It's just such a, it's like one of those things that's so great, you just can't believe it's happening. And then, you know, over the next few seconds, you start grasping that you won. And that all that hard work, all that dedication, all that sacrifice was for a reason. And, and it came out in your favor. I mean, it, it really is one of the most unique feelings you'll ever experience. And it makes what I do worth it every day. Mike Swick. He was on a tear when he first started out in the UFC. And then he started falling off. He had uh, some sort of disease, I believe, as well got viciously, uh, viciously knocked out in his last fight against a guy called Matt Brown. I'm not sure if he's retired or not now. I haven't seen him for a fight for a while now. Been more than a year, I believe. Alright, schedule a fight again, guys. Uh, let's pick a, a better guy or someone that's going to give me more cred. This guy's 10-1. Let's take on this skinny piece of shit. <laughs> he's an Asian guy as well. Yeah, I'll take the fight. Uh, what the hell am I doing there? Always simulating. I'm not gonna watch those anyway. Now that you've scheduled your next fight, let's take a look at training with camps and camp sessions. Throughout your career, you'll be able to join famous training camps from all over the world and train with top MMA coaches and fighters to learn new moves or enhance the moves you already know. Oh, 
All right. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. So basically, I have to do what? Train with a camp now? Okay, that's something different, I guess. First, select the camp you'd like to train with. Training with camps costs cred, but don't worry. The cred cost will be deducted from your fight purse and will not come out of your pocket until after your next fight. Each camp has its own strengths as well as offers different moves for you to learn. A description of each camp and the types of moves it offers can be found in the window above. You'll also notice some of the UFC fighters who train out of the camp who you'll get to train with to expand your fighter's abilities. Take a look at the camps and choose a camp to train with now. All right. Well, you got AKA, obviously you got Kane, John Fitch, and Cos Chase doesn't even train there anymore. He actually hates that place because of um, the owner. He felt disrespected there. Josh Cos Chase, so he's got his own cap now. He's got his own academy. 18 teams have Thiago Alves. Yep, Thiago Alves is there. Thiago Silva, Mike Brown as well, I guess. Black House has Anderson Silva, Nogueira, Machida. Yep. Well, Jose Aldo, there you go. Wolf Slayer will have Biz Bing, Rampage, and Congo. What did I say? I got all three of them correct. This one I've never heard of, the fifth one. What's that called? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Who's there? No, I wouldn't know that. Greg Jackson will probably have George St. Pierre. Uh, who else will they have there? Oh, I can pick up. No, Greg Jackson, yeah. George St. Pierre, Nate Marqua, Keith Jardine. Oh yeah, I forgot about John Jones, didn't I? I forgot about Condit. Condit doesn't train there anymore though. Actually, Condit still trains there, I believe. Yeah, he still trains there. But anyway, okay, let's get started. Um, I want to train somewhere good. AKA or AT&T or Greg Jackson. I wouldn't train at these two. I don't want to train at these two. No, thank you. If I want to do my stand-up, you go here, man. Thiago Silva and Alves. Black, always have Anderson Silva and Machida. Let's train here, man. When you choose to train with a camp, you'll have the ability to either learn new moves or level up moves you already know. There are three levels of experience for each move, and leveling up your moves will make them stronger, faster, or more powerful. Try to level up your go-to moves if you really want to be successful. For now, let's select to learn a new move. Okay. okay. This is the move selection screen. On this screen, you'll notice there are several windows which contain information about the moves available at this camp. In the upper left of the screen is the moves list window. This is where you can scroll through the available moves that you would like to learn or level up. Displayed in the lower half of the screen is information about the currently highlighted move in the moves list. You'll notice a preview of the currently highlighted move is shown along with information about the move, such as the position in which it occurs from your current progress towards leveling it up, the command input, or the prerequisites required to learn the move. All right. Yeah, I think Black House is probably the right, um, right camp to train at. But I need to fly. Ooh, let me check this one. Ooh, that's a good move. Oh, this one. What's the right? That's my cheetah's kick. Yeah. Oh, Shogun stepping left hook. That's good. No, that one's no, no. Let me go. Where is it gone? Yeah, let me go back. What the hell is this? Select play style. Manual, man. Why oh, don't press auto? Okay, so, uh, okay. Shouldn't be too hard. LB, left stick, MB. You gotta count, you gotta time it. There you go. Oh, Machida! Are we done? Well, that was quick. That was more simple than I expected. Look, thousand, man. This is the camp session results screen. You are graded based on your performance, and the grade you receive determines how much experience you earn towards leveling up a move. In order to obtain and use a move, you'll need to reach at least level one 
And the higher the move level, the better the move will be. Strikes will become stronger, transitions will become more effective, and submissions harder to escape. Try to level up the moves you use most. Late yeah, 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 okay, we got it. First time training. I started training the week after my 25th birthday. MMA just really gave me a way to focus and channel all of my energy. I have a great camp. I mean, I have a very, very smart guy. That's one thing that I enjoy about the people that work with. They're intelligent people. Preparation is everything. And, and knowing that I did everything I should have done as supposed to do to win this fight. And believe in yourself. You know, at the end of the day, it's what it's going to come down to. You can have all the skill in the world and everybody behind you patting you on the back and giving you words of encouragement, but if you don't believe it, Okay, George Rivera. He was pretty old. He got into the, he got into the fine uh, in fine game at a very uh, late stage. He's retired now, obviously. I think he had a a victory just before he retired because I remember he got his ass whooped by uh, Michael Bisping back in Australia. It was a while back, almost four years ago, two thousand and ten. How I remember that, don't ask me. Alright, that looks like it's done. The trainings and camp sessions are done. Alright, let's go into the fight, man. Alright, let's get into my fight. I think there's no entrances uh, because of uh, the smaller shows. I think when I get into the UFC or Pride, I'm to start having entrances, which I want to take off, man. Take up a lot of time. Alright. He's 31. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's just that damn same ref. This guy used to be a goofball when he first started out. When I first uh thing, he used to make a lot of mistakes, the referee. At one time I remember he um the winner got <laughs> the loser got his hand raised during the decision. It was the dumbest thing I've seen the ref do, man. Like when the scorecards have been read out. When it goes to a decision, this referee here uh, raised the loser's hand. <laughs> it's freaking funny. He knew immediately he got it wrong. This guy's a pushover, isn't he? Let's see how I can knock him out in the first round, too. Just push me off so I can freaking. Push me off, push me off. There you go. Oh yeah, come on. I learned that kick from a cheater, man. Okay. There we go, the leg kicks. More leg kicks. Oh shit. Oh my god. On. How many freaking hits have I connected to this? He's red now though. Uh oh, 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 oh. Let's go with the leg kicks again. Oh, I want to knock him out with that kick, man. Did it. Well, that was a lot quicker than the last one. The best. I'm on my way to the UFC, man. No challenge for me, son. What am I going to do with all this cred? I don't remember what you can do with it. Because um, the training sessions and uh, the camp sessions only cost 400. And I've got about 8,000 now, I believe. six to 8,000. I guess you can use it to uh, maybe buy extra stuff. We'll see. Oh, look at that kick. Ugh. You don't want any more of me, do you? 
That's it. That's it. He's just waking up. Look at that. The winner. Thank you, son. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, man. Uh, so he hit my head 27%. Didn't go for any takedowns, really. Like, how many takedowns attempted? Two and got two as well. Two out of two, man. This one seems a lot less stressful than the first UFC game. All right. All right. So we. Whoa! What happened there? Look at this. He's Nakamura, and his devastating knockout power takes the lead in votes for KO of the year. Oh, I got fourteen thousand. I thought I only had eight thousand. My bad. Let's schedule another fight, guys. Before I end this video, uh, let's see who. This picks someone good, man. I just did. I just knock this guy out. Or was that someone else? Give me the guy that gives the most cred. This guy gives the most cred. For this next fight, let's take a moment to set up a game plan. Select game plan from the career main menu. Fights can be won or lost depending on your chosen game plan. Do you want to increase your takedown defense to shut down a wrestler? or increase your striking so you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a kickboxer? By choosing a game plan, you'll have the ability to temporarily increase certain skills or attributes for your next fight. Once you've selected a game plan, you'll need to practice it by sparring, train hard, and pay attention to the game plan challenges displayed. If you complete all the challenges while sparring, you'll increase the effects of the game plan on your stats. Let's take a look at each of the game plan options now and feel free to make a selection when ready. All right. Um, let's see what I can do here, man. This is definitely new to the game. I don't remember having the game plan in UFC 2. Look at this. Wow, that's asking for a lot when the round, when the fight in the first round. You want to go for not win by TKO. That one's pretty good. Um, I'm going to try one of these ones. Sprawl. Let's go with this one. This is one that you really want to do anyway. If you're a striker, this is the one. This is like your main goal. You'll win by KO, TKO, defend the takedown. You want to get taken down and avoid all, all bottom. That's pretty much part of the second one, isn't it? If you don't get taken down, you ain't going to be on the bottom. So that's linked. It's like a striker versus a grappler type of match. You got to defend all that shit, man. All right, here we go. He's not going to take me down, is he? Take me down, bitch. I don't mind being on top.
bitch. <laughs> ah, just get up, man. I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I've not seen that before. What the heck? That's new to me. Don't try that stuff. God damn. Win by TKO. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get him against the cage. Knock his ass out. Damn. Ugh, I've got to land those damn clinches. Those clinch knees. There we go. Alright, the game plan's pretty stupid. In the window above, you'll see the results of the game plan sparring session and how your stats are affected based on your performance. These effects will be applied to your fighter during your next fight. If you can execute and complete the three game plan challenges during your next fight, you'll get to keep a percentage of the effects you received going into the fight permanently. If you fail to complete the three game plan challenges, however, the effects you have going into the fight will be removed upon the fight's conclusion. Stick to your game plan, and you'll get better with every fight. I don't like it when it... Whoa! Why is it minus? Ground... Uh, ground grapple bomb defense. Huh. That's interesting. It's kind of dumb, though. Uh, I trained out of Boise, Idaho. Uh, I opened a gym when I first started fighting. I didn't have any... There's no gyms in Boise, so uh, me and one of my college teammates, we opened up a gym. Combat fitness. I train six days a week. Usually. Every day is a good, well-rounded day. Every day is as hard as I can go. Like I tell all the guys out of my gym that make their first fight, first, whether it's amateur or pro, stay focused on, on, on three things. You have to have fun, stay calm, and be you. Do, do what you do best. When guys get caught up, I think, worrying about what their opponent's going to do, you're going to get a little gun shy. You start worrying about all those things that shut you down quicker than anything. Just worry about you, focus on what you do the best, and, and, and what you need to do to win the fight. All right. You guys are probably wondering why his skin is like that. He's got a skin condition. I don't know what it's called though. I was reading up on it, but I don't remember the name of it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time for more UFC, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this second part. I'll see you guys next time for part three. Peace.